started, I have a question for the audience. Audience, have you ever heard of Corning Incorporated? Yeah. Show of hands. Yeah. Show of hands, who's heard of Gorilla Glass? Where are you here then? Well, thanks for coming by. The, the, the cool thing about, well, I'll tell you a little bit about both of those things, more about the latter. The cool thing about Corning Incorporated is that this year we're celebrating our 160th anniversary. So it's, a, it's an old company and they've been doing glass and ceramic materials for a long time. So there's a long history behind the uh, material that I show you a little about, uh, demonstrate its uh, capabilities for you today. Um, usually, we, we're stuck, as consumers, we're stuck with um, elegance, lightweight, durable, and we have to pick any two of those for a product. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is a way to kind of break that tradition and to try to, to combine all three of those uh, parameters. So uh, Gorilla Glass is, uh, is used in, uh, in touch devices primarily, but any, 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 any display device it can be used in. But it, it started off in touch, touch devices. Um, the first um, material to try to break that uh, elegance, durability, lightweight was, was plastic. So if I can get a volunteer, maybe Anthony. John the, the issue there was come on, stop. the issue here was if we looked at plastic <coughs> devices, take a key, see if you can scratch the plastic. Okay, okay same force or even more. Go ahead and scratch the grill. You get it. You dig it. Dig it. No. So, so, so this is why we kind of dismiss plastic out of hand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, um, so we're up against. So the, the the question now is that we want something that can be elegant, that can be durable, that can be lightweight. Then we can look at glass. So why would we look at Gorilla Glass over any other kind of glass? So to really show you why we would choose Gorilla or why you might choose Gorilla, I would like another volunteer to come up and break some glass. Anyone like to volunteer to break some glass? Dylan, go. I will not choose you. No, come on <laughs> so we've never met Roy, right? So what I'm going to show, what Roy's going to walk us through, uh, three pieces of the glass I'm going to want him to break. Uh, two of them are the same composition. They're soda lime glass. They're the kind of glass that you might find in a window or other electronic, uh, this is consumer electronic materials. All three pieces of glass are the same thickness, same weight, 1.1 millimeters thick. What we've done is if you take the piece of glass here and hold it up and look through the circle, you see it's a little bit frosted. That's been sandblasted in the back to induce flaws to make it even easier for you to break. We don't want you up here all day. Sure. So what I want you to do is take this, put it down here so it can bend a little bit, push down. I want you to break the glass, but before you go crazy, I want you to kind of think about about how much it is. I want you to rate it, scale from okay. zero, to, zero to ten, say. Okay. okay? Break the glass. Yeah, push, push on it. Just kind of sit there and push. Thank you. No. You broke it? Good. So where would, where would you rate that? Like a uh, four. Four. Okay. So this is non-strengthened soda lime glass. This is strengthened soda lime glass. So we've actually done a process that I'll be glad to sh uh, show you a little bit more about it, but we've actually strengthened that glass. Same glass, we did something to it to strengthen it. See how that compares. Oh, yeah. use two hands. More stronger. We're not going to grade your grammar. No. Yeah. Much stronger. Okay. Much stronger. Much stronger. Okay. No, no, there's a double superlative for you, grammar for the fish house. Uh, okay, so that was uh, same glass. One was strength and one was not strength. So now we're going to talk about uh, Gorilla. What was the rating for that? The first one was four. The second one was? Seven. Seven. Okay. So this is Gorilla glass. So same weight, same, same thickness, same, same amount of sandblasting in the back. And you can get started anytime you want. Can't break it. Can't break it. Can't break it. Good. Thanks. So now that he's, he not, break it? yeah, I can't believe he can't break it. Now that he started, who wants to finish it? He started. He's loosening up the jar. Who wants to open the jar? Who thinks they can? He's, he's damaged it. Who, who wants? You want to do it? Dale, hold this. Hold this flip phone. All right. Ready? Look at this too. <laughs> very much. Tyler, did you get it on film? Yep. Excellent. Thanks. So that's just a demonstration. 
We got a, another, another, uh, another guy wants to go? We'll come afterwards. So that's just a demonstration of, you know, 160 year history of understanding glass to say that all glasses aren't created equal. We can actually think about something that breaks that conundrum of being uh, all three at the same time elegant, durable, and lightweight. And so, uh, so we can think about the transparency of glass. We all know that, that's why all our windows are glass. But uh, because it's so durable and, and scratch resistant, as, as, as the volunteers demonstrated, we can think about printing, printing on the glass and actually putting it on the backs of devices. So the glass, uh, the, this printing that you're looking at here, this is a piece of glass you can pass it around. I need that back. Um, it's, the gla the, it's printed on the back of it, so you can't scratch that, uh, that image off. We started off, uh, none, none for you, Don. We, we, we'll see it up here. So we started off with handhelds because, you know, I, I've dropped my phone before. Maybe you dropped your phone. Moved up to laptops. It's less likely that you'll drop a laptop, but now as we move into the slate form factors, and you see some of the slates here, um, you're more likely, as we become more, more mobile and less portable, we're more likely to uh, be in a scenario which we can drop it. An another thing that we're doing is, even though the glass is extremely flat, extremely planar, is we're being able to actually curve the glass thermally, so we can think about it on the backs of devices. So uh, in, in, in one minute, I want to kind of give you a brief tour of the booth and then uh, welcome you to uh, walk around afterwards. We started off, if you look at this table here, with handhelds. Um, we, we're on over, uh, we've been designed into 280 existing, excuse me, and future devices. This is just a small sampling of them. Handhelds, some slates there, some laptops, there's a laptop that these gentlemen are holding that actually shows glass on the back of the laptop. So you're welcome to take a look at those. And then um, over here, I, I'm going to welcome you to come and see a, a nice demonstration by some of our guys that understand the hows and whys of glass breakage to, in order to prevent it. And so we're looking at handhelds, slates, laptops. We had an announcement early this week where we're moving into TVs. These are 55-inch televisions that are getting this edge-to-edge. Um, uh, look and the uh, protection and the uh, elegance of corning, uh, corning is gorilla glass. And then finally, we were looking into even uh, addition, uh, outside of a consumer electronics, some other applications that I welcome you to, to go to the, the back corner of the booth there and look at some of the other applications of gorilla, some appliances and automotive applications. Thank you very much for your time.